Oh my goodness gracious, here we are. We are live on the big show here on TWB. I got my anchor shirt on today. How you guys doing today? Welcome to the show, the channel. It's your buddy Bruce here. Um, it's Monday, December the 6th. Oh my God. Think about that. Next week's the 13th. Then it's the 20th. Then it's the 27th. It's over. Oh my God. And then the next week it's January. So ho, 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 are we going into the new year here? Christmas is upon us so soon. We've already had Thanksgiving. The excuses, we're running out of excuses not to get the shopping done. Oh my gosh, it is happening. Welcome one and all to the channel. Uh, here in um, in Palm Desert, California, where I'm hanging out, uh, it's pretty nice. Um, but I have to tell you, I got to be honest, uh, it looks like this. Uh, if you were to take a drone and fly it up uh, over the area that I live at right now, this is in Palm Desert. This is the Monterey Golf and Country Club, and I'm Jen and I are renting a unit here. It's kind of nice. Um, but I got to admit, today was the last day that we're going to be in the 80s. So we hit 81 degrees today, and that's it for the rest of the year because tomorrow, I don't even know if we're going to hit 72. And the day after that, we're going to be in 60s. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's green grass. It looks like this. It's pretty. It's really nice. But uh, but uh, we're going to come off a little bit on the temperature side. Now, I know, I know some of you out there who are in, you know, northern USA and uh, in Canada, you're going to go, so what, Bruce? Uh, what are you complaining about? Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty hard times you have there, you poor guy. You know, here we are up north where it's snowing already, and you, you're doing that. They're not shutting your pool, are they? No, they're not shutting the pool. They're not draining the water out of the pool. It's heated. <laughs> and that uh, spa down there, that little one there, that's a nice hot spa with the jets. Ooh, it sure feels good. And it sure helps with all the aches and pains of aging. Being a hardworking YouTube creator, I got to tell you, you, you really, really like jumping into that thing. And uh, getting rid of all the aches and pains and all the comments from the viewers. <laughs> Thank you, one and all, for being here today. I'm glad you uh, you could make it and join, it, join us for the big show here Monday night from Palm Desert. I hope you're doing all right. Let me know what temperature you're getting. Are you guys getting winter out there? I think in uh, places like Michigan and elsewhere, it's getting cold. Uh, there's some cold fronts moving in. Uh, and I'm not sure about wind and whatnot, but storms and everything else. Let me know what your situation is We're all over, wherever in the world you are watching tonight. Ken Kuchera is in the house. How are you doing, Bruce? Hi, Bruce, and all from a cold Saginaw, uh, Michigan. Janet and Ken are here. The temperature is 29 degrees, and it's windy. The low will be 18 degrees tonight. Gasoline is 319 a gallon. Good evening from Janet and Ken. Now, 319 probably is a bit of a discount from late what was because I, I wasn't it in the 350s and 370s not too long ago i'm hoping that the price of oil that's been dropping and dropping now for weeks is translating to cheaper gas prices because i'm kind of thinking shouldn't it be under three by now i sure hope so uh sharon hi bruce long time no see hello there rocky hi bruce i'm back too thank you rocky for popping back in here from the sponsor member show genie is here also from the sponsor member show hi again bruce and hi to all the tw beers around the world bill and genie are here for the big show from east Tennessee. Some of the nicest people in the world are from East Tennessee. Rich L, a uh, happy holiday season, Bruce, and all the fans out there. Salinas, California, currently 54 degrees and cloudy. Gas, $4.99 a gallon. Christmas lights are all around and gas is $4.99. Oh my gosh. Still, I'm still driving this Tesla that I've rented until the end of the month. And I don't have to put gas in this thing. And am I happy? I'm happy. I love it. Uh, Sharon, Kevin and I will be here for a short visit this evening. It's a busy night here, but we wanted to say hello to all of you. Thank you guys for being here with us. Uh, Ma Ma Manuvel Camp is here. Hey, Bruce from Southfield, Michigan. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show tonight from Southfield. Nice to have you here. Uh, I've got Stephen Butler here. He's here from Arkansas, where it is now 33 degrees it was in the 70s just a few days ago. Not good. Hello, TWB fans from Tom Henry, Richmond, Virginia, home of what America's all about. Welcome, Tom. Uh, Kirk Brunson. Hey, Bruce. Kirk from the Big Apple is in the house. Kirk 
Brunson's YouTube and Facebook channel. The man is here. Thanks, buddy, for joining us. Nikki Singleton, hi from Bruce. Hi, all. Greetings from Jacksonville, Florida. Hi there, Nikki. Welcome back to this show. Tom, we reached 73 in Richmond today. It was a good day to run the mower and chop up all the fallen leaves, good and dry leaves, so they mulched really well. Nicely done. Uh, Connie is also here. Hi, Connie Servino. Uh, hi, Bruce. Lucky you. Hi there, Connie. I am lucky. Uh, we are very fortunate. We are grateful that we are both here, Jen and I. We love the fact that we're down here in Palm Desert, California. We love this area so much, and uh, we're just grateful to be in warm, sunny weather. Bullcraft Max is in the house. Hi, Bruce. Hope you had a great Thanksgiving. Hope you are enjoying beautiful California. Should we be concerned about the new virus strain? I don't think many people in the USA are scared of it. You know, I, I don't know if we should be afraid of it. We should respect it, I would think. You certainly don't want to invite it upon yourself. But uh, I tell you, when, when Jen and I, when we go out, uh, we take masks with us. So when we go to our Costco store, we, we're masked. We go to uh, go to our Albertson store. We got the masks on. We get back in the car, take the masks off. We're fine. Uh, we don't mind. It's okay. Extra little precaution. We're happy to do it. Um, Austin is here, snowing hard in WA. That's uh, Washington, snowing hard in Washington. Oh my gosh, uh, Donnell. Uh, hi, Bruce and all TW fans. Happy Tuesday, and it's just past one a.m. here in Cork, Ireland. We were just talking, Donnell and I on the big hangout show the hangout show we have seven o'clock one hour before this show i go live at seven o'clock for sponsor members if you're a member of this channel you get to hang out with us seven o'clock every monday night we were just talking about how donnell said garth brooks is coming to ireland and those of you who are garth brooks fans you know what this means you know if you're a garth brooks fan if you really are a garth brooks fan you know how much he is loved in ireland and Donnell was telling me five shows plus 80,000, no, 400,000 tickets gone in minutes. Minutes. Unbelievable. He's coming to Ireland, man. Oh, man. Dan uh, Crawl going to the, uh, was it Chris Kindle Market in Chicago tomorrow? 30 degrees tomorrow. Yikes. So going to the Christmas market. Fantastic. Don, it will bundle up. Um, maybe you can buy some of that mull wine that they have. They they take wine and they they, they warm it up with uh, cinnamon sticks they put in, like a red wine with cinnamon sticks, and then they pour that into like a cup, and then you you drink that, this warm, hot wine. That, that'll warm you up. That'll melt everything, um, even inhibitions. Uh, Sharon, Bullcraft Max, um, Omicron is no scarier than any of the other COVID variants. We should all get vaccinated, mask up, etc. In other words, everything that we've been doing all along, keep doing it. Tom Henry, hi there, Sylvia. When, when you get here, hello to Sylvia. Um, uh, Conchita Herrera, it is 71 in Miami Beach. Lovely in Miami. Uh, welcome uh, from all of you folks in beautiful Florida. Welcome to the show. Sandy Robinson, hello, Bruce and TLB family from a snowy Red Cliff, Alberta. Winter has arrived, temperature 12 below Celsius. But this afternoon, uh, sunny but cold. Uh, 12 Celsius is something like um, 12 degrees. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, 12 Celsius. Let me think a minute, 1.8. So that's 18, and then another 3. It's about 21 below the, about 12 degrees Fahrenheit, plus 12 degrees Fahrenheit uh, is what that is. Yikes. Uh, Sharon saying, Bruce, you have 12, 20 thumbs ups already in only eight minutes. You got 20 thumbs ups already for this show. If you get 80 more, you get 100. Well, that's pretty cool. Thank you, everybody, for helping out. Arc Adventures, freezing Monday, bros. Uh, it's 34. Uh, I think you're in St. Louis, uh, it, but it's going to go to 27 in about an hour. We miss our sunny, warmish uh, temperatures. Andy and Andrea currently in St. Louis. Welcome, you guys, to the show tonight. Stay warm up there. Uh, Bullcrap Max, Sylvia, uh, Sharon, I agreed with you on this. Stephen, Arkansas, average price per gas, regular 291. Yeah, here in California, in the fives. Uh, Donnell, only 39 in Cork, Ireland tonight with a huge storm about to hit us. It's going to thump us. Apparently, 100 and uh, that'll be 80 mile an hour winds are coming tonight to Cork, Ireland. It's going to be nasty out there. Uh, Nikki, um, it's 68 in Jacksonville now. We're looking at a high of 74 tomorrow. Same here. We're in the 70s tomorrow. We're grateful. Carol, um, it's 69 here now, yet I'm also in California. Ventura County, County. 
Ventura, uh, a four hour drive northwest of you. Nice here, but chilly at night. I hear you. I believe it. Uh, David C. Perkins is saying hello. I say hello, Dave. How you doing, buddy? Welcome to the show today. Uh, Rocky Grasso, it's uh, 66 now in Chesapeake, Virginia Beach, Virginia. It was 72 earlier today. That's quite pleasant. Um, uh, Rohan uh, Sadu, nice to see you. Uh, Trinidad is in the house. Oh, nice. I think in Trinidad, it's got to be in the 80s. You must be in the mid-80s down there for the highs. It's, it's got to be great. Uh, Nathan, um, hello all. I, I, I almost didn't make it. Work is crazy right now. Gas at Sam's, 3 bucks a gallon. A warm 50 degrees right now. Welcome, Nathan. Nice to have you here, pal. Um, Kevin Chapman, big thumbs up for Bruce. Happy holidays from rainy central New Jersey. Welcome, Kevin Chapman. Nice to have you here, my friend. Ark Adventures, our leaves are overtaking our yard. And um, what is it? Luke, our min pin in getting lost in them, but too cold to deal with them laughing out loud. <laughs> right on. Uh, Bullcraft, I always wear masks for indoor sittings, and I have my booster shot as well. Carol Reed is here. Gas is down to four sixty nine dollars a gallon. Um, uh, the president cut loose oil reserves, it seems. Uh, well, it'll take a little while for that to filter through to the pump, but it, it'll happen. Manual Cake Daddy Pruitt. Hey, Bruce, uh, from Glen Heights, Texas, just south of Dallas. 46 degrees and gas is 297. Glad to see you. Nice to have you here, Manuel. Nice to have you here, buddy. Uh, you take care of yourself. Stay warm there and uh, don't get too cold. Bullcraft. Also, it is really rainy and windy in central New Jersey right now, which is where I live, so it's kind of yucky. Kevin, I used to work at Albertsons a lifetime ago. Say hi to Joe for me. <laughs> uh, Jason Kimmins, um, good evening, Bruce. Always happy to see your live cruise content. Thanks, Jason, very much. Uh, Sylvia's in the house. Hi, Sylvia. Tom Henry Little. Hi there, Tom. You need to come here and rake or blow my leaves laughing out loud. My lawn guy's trying to be funny or something. He's not here. Ark, um, funny thing uh, is my favorite song. Uh, funny thing is my favorite song of Garth Brooks is Ireland. We leave Wednesday to see Genesis last Domino tour that evening. Can't wait. Sylvia, hi Bruce and all. Carol, uh, don't forget the Mar Maraschimo cherries. Tom Henry, uh, Sylvia, I don't rock or blow leaves. Uh, I don't rack or, or blow leaves. I run the mower over them to mulch them. They basically get ground and they disappear. Sylvia, I, it was low 70s in Greensboro, North Carolina. Very nice with a breeze today. Eddie Albert, the, the wild temperature swings here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Just, just wild. Now, cruise news and travel news. A little has come through. Uh, Dan Crawl is here from uh, saying hi. Still climbing. Uh, so, so fine. Still climbing. Right on. Just say it. Sylvia, Tom Henry. Okay. And then Tom Henry, Sylvia, my lawn is done with by a lawn boy. Ha, ha, except that is the brand of the more. Belinda is here. Wonderful weather here in North Carolina at 65, but 70s today. Miss my family in Southern California. Average gas here, 319. Rob Slevin, hello from Celebrity Edge. Really don't want to think about fuel costs here. Right now heading to Costa Maya from Nassau. Sounds like rain outside on the Celebrity Edge. Not a problem. Nice going, man. Jim Thomas, hey, Bruce, at least we're getting a touch of rain. Right on. Donnell, uh, hi, Sylvia. Hope to get your leave problem sorted soon. Uh, Sylvia, Tom Henry went swimming at the Y today, but it didn't help that I ate the other half of the cheesecake. Now I'm full. Uh, Carol, Bruce, that 469 was with oil reserves cut loose. We did have 498 gas here before. By the way, we're going to get rain around Thursday here in California. You too, Bruce. Oh, my gosh. Well, hopefully the gas will drop even more because the uh, the uh, oil prices drop at the in the barrel pricing. That drops. It's in the 60s now, but it takes a couple of weeks to filter through to the pump. So hopefully California gas will be 50 cents a dollar less than this. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be a relief to some degree. Now, news in the cruise business for you. Um, I came across... Uh, this story um, on at a carnival, uh, the Carnival Horizon cruise ship. That was the um, that was the third newest ship they built. I guess the third most recent. Uh, they they built the Panorama, they did the Mardi Gras, and prior to that, the Horizon. <clears throat> and the Horizon uh, was a breakthrough ship because um, it uh, was one of the longest ships they'd ever built. Uh, they had these. Uh, these new Havana suites and, and family harbor suites on the back of the ship. Um, anyway, um, all Carnival Horizon cruises have been canceled 
from now to the end of the year at a minimum um, uh, because of engine problems. Now, this ship is, uh, you know, hasn't sailed much in the last year and a half. Uh, obviously, no one else has either. Um, <clears throat> but I guess, um, you know, prior to that, the ship was two years old, three years old. So the, 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 the engines, there's issues here with the engines. They got to take it into dry dock. They can't fix it as a quick fix in, in a harbor somewhere. They got to go into dry dock and get under there the azipods and work on this thing so uh major work to be done on the horizon they call it a technical issue just so you know anyway uh, rather than cancel all the sailings what they've done is because they're bringing ships back into service they've decided at carnival to bring the carnival sunshine and the carnival liberty ships they're bringing those ships in to handle the horizon uh, passengers for the cruise. Now, the reality is neither the Sunshine nor the Liberty ships are can hold a candle to the features of the Horizon ship. Everyone knows this. And so what Carnival is offering and what they're doing here is for all passengers that were booked in the, in the uh, uh, Family Harbor class and Havana class in those staterooms, all those folks uh, are getting a $250 stateroom credit per stateroom. And all other passengers, no matter what class of room you're in, you're getting a $200 per stateroom credit as compensation against, so you can use it any way you want on the, on the other ship. So you want to use it for tips or drinks or specialty dining or shore credit or whatever, knock yourself out. It'll be interesting to see how many of the passengers don't cancel and still take the cruise anyway with this deal or not. It'll be interesting to see how that works. And the hope is that the Carnival Horizon will be back in the water in January. That that they're hoping. Now that is only four weeks from now, so <clears throat> I'm sure the Horizon is steamed to the dry dock. It's got to be in the it's got to be in the Bahamas, and they're probably getting it out of the water as we speak if it's not already out of the water. And they're working on it as quickly as possible, uh, probably flying in technicians um, to address the matter. Who knows? Now, other news uh, on the cruise lines. We've been hearing the story about the Norwegian breakaway. This is the ship that was reporting. First, we heard the first report I heard was 10 passengers on the ship tested positive for COVID. And then we heard. They revised it to 17. And uh, uh, the latest now is that the ship has arrived in New Orleans. Passengers are disembarking now. I'm guessing what's happening. This is my hunch that all passengers are being tested before they get off the ship. And those who are testing negative are free to go wherever they're going to go. Those who are testing positive, other than the 17, if there are any other positives, they are likely doing a quarantine thing. I'm going to guess that the 17 cases they've got, they're going to quarantine those folks until they test negative, at least a week, maybe two. Um, I got to say, though, that a year ago, had this happened last year when the, uh, the Princess ship was in Yokohama, Japan, uh, just outside of Tokyo, you remember that? That ship, uh, you know, they wouldn't let the passengers out of the room. They wouldn't let them off the ship. They were even... It was even uh, scheduled that you had to have a, a rotation to get up to the outside, walk around the outside. Um, what a difference a year makes. Because uh, here we have 17 passengers on, a, I think, a one-week cruise. This is one week. These, these people tested negative before the cruise and during the cruise are showing up with the virus. And some have the new um, the Omicron, on, the Omicron, whatever it's called, virus, this new one. Uh, no panic, no massive panic attack, no massive uh, media coverage, no massive 24-7 uh, cameras on the ship and ambulances and, and workers in hazmat suits. It, it, I mean, it's just a, what a difference a year makes uh, between then and now. Huh? Isn't that something? Anyway, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I'm sure that the, the ship is doing a, a they're on a full-blown cleanup of I'm not sure if the ship has even left yet with its next passengers. Did they cancel the next cruise? I'm kind of curious about all that. Anyway, 17 cases uh, in, in a week. Um, now, I've heard there have been thousands of cases detected on ships 
uh, leaving U.S. ports since they started cruising back in what August, September to now, uh, over two thousand. Um, yet, um, the number of people on board the ships is staggering. You know, collectively, uh, the number of cases is actually small compared to how many people are on ships. What we don't hear about, and if we did hear about this, I think we would be shocked. Uh, could you imagine if uh, on every flight, uh, domestic flight in the United States, before you get on a plane, you get tested uh, for a quick test at the gate? How many of those millions of passengers that are, what is it now, one and a half million a day, two million a day? How many of the one and a half, two million passengers a day that are getting on domestic flights that do not need any testing whatsoever would turn up positive? I think we would be shocked at the number if we actually did those tests uh, but they're not going to do them and you know why don't you don't you know why because if you knew the number uh we would freak out we'd, we'd just be going are you kidding me uh, because there's so many anti-vaxxers among us at the airport there are so many who are vaccinated like myself <clears throat> who get the virus and uh, i don't know if i've ever had the virus being vax vaccinated i have no idea if i've ever had it uh i don't feel I've had the, the, vac, the, the virus at all in the entire time that it's been around. But um, can you imagine how many people have the virus and don't know they have it? They don't feel the effects. And how many people do have colds? They feel they have a cold, but they actually have the virus and they're not getting tested because they're not in a situation where they need to get tested. Uh, it would shock, I think, uh, a lot of Americans if they found out among us how many of us actually have all these variants, including the brand new one, which I think now is in either 33, no, it's either in 15 or 30 states, as I'm speaking to you now. This brand new South African variant is now in either 15 or 30 different U.S. states officially, in official terms. I think unofficially, I bet you 48 of the 50 states have the virus already. Uh, people have it, and they don't, they don't know they have kind of kind of scary don't you think you gotta gotta wonder uh sylvia donnell i will be getting figured it'll be i will get it figured out with the leaves somehow if you have to blow <laughs> with the blow carol says hi there hi carol tom henry wow sylvia one half a cheesecake oh my gosh gregory uh greetings bruce from a chilly boston welcome gregory to the show tonight i'm glad you're here tom henry i'm wondering if it's really azapods or actually an engine issue um uh, there have been comments about power problems on Horizon. Engines provide electricity to run as a pods and engine problem means. Well, um, I, I'm talking about full speeds. Uh, yeah, Tom, here you go. The as pods can't run at full speed. Apparently, the ship is not able to run at proper cruising speed. So it's got to be as a pods. Yeah, Tom Henry. If it's an issue, they may have to cut a hole in the hull to replace a shaft or even an engine. Oh, God. Yikes. Um, I don't know who this is, but, uh, you know, Mark Tech, whatever. Uh, Sharon, got to go. Have a great night, everybody. Sharon, you take care. Thank you for being here tonight. Same to uh, all of you out there who have popped in to say hi to me. Tom Henry, I'm thinking this might be like the star issue in late 19, which required an engine replacement last year. Oh, man. Bye, uh, Sharon. Bye, Sharon so, from Tom. Donnell, good night, Sharon, and have a good week, too. Tom Henry, news still blew the thing out of proportion. Interesting. Tom Henry, the breakaway did depart. In the wee hours last night at 1 a.m., it was underway in the Mississippi. There we go. Arc Adventures. We're glad not to have to worry about gas prices. Getting a Chevy Volt was one of my favorite purchases. I think I've bought 68 gallons of gas since 2017. It's kind of nice to say goodbye to the gas pump. I have to admit, uh, you know, we have this, uh, Jen and I are renting this Tesla Model 3 from a gentleman in California, in, in, in L.A., and... Um, since October the 5th, we've been driving a Tesla, and I haven't been to a gas station. Uh, it, it is just uh, fabulous. I, I, I mean, I'm ignoring gas prices. I, I don't even read them anymore. It's occasionally I'll, I'll glance at a red light and go, oh, there's a gas station. Well, what's the price of gas? Just for, you know, I'm just curious. Not that I need any. It, uh, I'm so glad we're not buying any gas. Uh, Carol, Omnic, Om, Omicron so far looks like it may be about a three-day cold yet more transmittable. If so, this would be good news. This might end the pandemic concerns if it pans out. 
Celia, uh, Tom Henry, does NOLA, uh, the New Orleans have a cam? Is that where the breakaway left early in the morning? Um, M-A-T, um, officially not one death from the new variant, and all symptoms are uh, of, of a mild flu so far. And I sure hope that's it. I sure hope this is the deal. All right, that would be great. Arc Adventures, also our first ever New Year's Eve cruise, is coming up on December the 26th. On Carnival's new ship, the Mardi Gras. Oh, man, we'll vlog it for sure. That will be a good time. That'll be really great. Louise, uh, Diamond Dave on the Diamond Princess versus David Lee Roth. Also, Diamond Dave Van Halen. They should meet, you know. Uh, Tom Henry, uh, Sylvia, not on the uh, PTZ TV system. Lance might have another source. Um, Stephen Butler, um, UAMS in, Air, in Arkansas is predicting a third wave. Arkansas Times report that uh, suggest cases, hospitalizations, and deaths will rise in the coming weeks. The state could be amid a third wave, UAMS is warning. Interesting. Tom Henry, I used the Cruise Mapper site to check this morning. Nathan, hit those thumbs up for Bruce. Thank you, Nathan, for reminding everybody. Louise Diamond Dave was very formative about COVID on cruises early on. Uh, Tom Henry, Arc Adventures, great, um, uh, great vehicle. I have a 2015 red Chevy Volt, uh, 10 miles to the office, very little gas use. I drove it to PA from Virginia a couple of times, which accounted for a majority of the gas used. <laughs> Sylvia, uh, that is why I uh, pop vitamin C all the time. Tom Henry, okay, I'll have to ask him. Carol, um, Sylvia, don't forget the vitamin D and zinc along with your vitamin C. Jeffrey, we're saying hi, everybody. Welcome, Jeffrey. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you, all of you, for popping in here and saying hi to us tonight as we uh, just hang out a little bit, talk a little bit about travel and what's going on. Are any of you going on a, a cruise coming up real soon? And did any of you get a super, super good deal? Have any of you been given upgrades so far? Uh, those of you who have booked cruises coming up, did you get an upgrade almost immediately or did you get an upgrade notification towards the, you know, the, the cruise date? Or did some of you get upgraded right when you got to check in? I'd love to hear any of these stories. If you have any of those to share with us, let us know. Kind of curious, uh, are prices dropping as far as you can tell? Um, are you being offered super deals uh, by via emails by the cruise lines? Are they throwing you the kitchen sink to try to get you to book? I'm kind of curious how this is going for you guys. If any of you can let me know, that would be terrific. We have 71 people here right now. Thank you all for popping in to see us and be with us tonight. It's just fantastic. You folks are here. Um, Swan, that's a good deal. Uh, Matt Singh. Manuel, uh, Cake Daddy Pruitt, 82 days until the Carnival Mardi Gras cruise that he's on. Fantastic. Uh, Carol is saying, have a Merry Christmas, everyone. Enjoy the holidays. Uh, we're getting close to that. Uh, Jennifer and I are going to be in Ontario, California at the Outback Steakhouse on Saturday this week uh, for our first ever meet and greet for TWB and Stock Markers with Bruce channel members. And we're quite looking forward to this. Uh, this is the first time we've ever been able to pull this off. And I'm very eager to have this happen. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, hopefully everyone will be able to show. And uh, hopefully we can do more of these uh, going forward. I'm desperate to get these done in Texas, Florida, New York, uh, and other areas. Uh, hope we can see you soon at a meet and greets event. Carol, I don't take vitamin D, but I have an issue with vitamin D. Also, I do take my multivitamin, which is some D and zinc in it. Nathan, 75 days to go. I'm hoping to get an upgrade in my room. I got on the ship on my 31st birthday. That's what I'm going to get on the ship on my 30, 41st birthday, the NCL Escape. And that'll be great, man. That's a... Uh, Looking forward to it. I'm sure you're looking forward to it. Um, Kirk is saying that the eight-day cruise, Carnival Legend Baltimore to the Bahamas, 1900 for three with port charges and other perks. 1900 all in for eight people, uh, eight days, three people. Right on, right on. Gregory says, I got an upgrade on Carnival Transatlantic uh, Christmas 2022 the cruise, uh, they called today. They, we had an inside cabin 
We are now Ocean View. Nice. That is a nice upgrade. Uh, Kirk, uh, February 20 to 27 is when I'm going on my cruise. Sylvia, Bruce, I hope you have a fantastic time at the meet and greet. I am sure looking forward to it. We're going to take a bunch of photos and videos if we can. Donnell, I hope your first meet and greet is a big success. We're looking forward to it. Uh, Ms. M, hello, Bruce and TW family had our first snow today. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. It's a white Christmas. Manuel, Cake Daddy, um, also, I bought my first 100 shares of Carnival today, and I'm in it for the $100 on board credit. You're at right on. Yeah, well done, well done. Uh, Carol, uh, can you repeat the meet and greet location, date and time, Bruce? I may try to make it. Unfortunately, it is a sold out event. Uh, we had limited uh, tickets available to come to the event, and we sold out two weeks ago, and uh, we're done. Uh, we're going to do it in Ontario, and it's all sold out. So there's no more room at the end this time. We'll have to do it another time. Uh, M-A-T, um, Ember, we left Snowville in June. <laughs> Ark, great show, Bruce. Have a great night, and we're off to dinner. You guys take care. Thank you again for being here every week. We, we love you guys. Thank you so much. 61 of you are here. I appreciate it. Thank you for your comments tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thank you for those of you who gave us a thumbs up tonight. We do appreciate anybody out there that can give us a uh, thumbs ups for this uh, channel. We appreciate it very much. Uh, any, any, uh, any, uh, uh, any of those are always welcome. It helps the channel uh, get a little more momentum through YouTube, and it always is appreciated. We're showing right now. Let me see what I got here. Uh, if I click on my own show and see if I can see it on the air, here we go. Right at the moment, uh, there it is. Uh, got an ad for Smart Coffee Table Company. How about that? That's kind of cool. Uh, the Smart Coffee Table it folds out and everything. Wow, look at that. The drawers. And it's, it's even too. It looks like a desk and put your computer on it and i'm gonna have to skip that out. uh we've got uh, uh, 55 thumbs ups on this show thank you everybody if you're able to throw a thumbs up our way before you pack it in that would be beautiful we thank you so so much i will see you folks next week monday right here at eight o'clock eastern time for an update show we'll try and stay on top of news uh, for you and uh, i'll let you know when i get my first booking made for Jennifer and I. Gregory Hall in America, New Amsterdam in 13 days. Can't wait. It's been a long time. Oh, man, you got to give me a full report on this. That'll be great. Larry, uh, on the joy in December. Uh, Larry, I want to hear a report from you on that. And Sylvia, Bruce, it, it it's the Outback. So are you renting out all of it uh, and on the patio? Why can't Carol read and just walk by and say hi? Um, we, we've booked uh, a, 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 a reserved area. We only have so much space. And we're in a, we're in one segment of the of the place, and uh, we've um, we've had a uh, we've had um, um, uh, uh, hors d'oeuvres ordered and 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 uh, snacks and everything else, and we've got uh, grab bags and we've got like uh, swag bags all made up. And we're all done. We're all we're all booked out, and uh, we're all we're all we're all finished up. And uh, we planned this uh, back in uh, early November, and uh, and uh, by about a week ago. It uh, it was all it was all uh, booked out. So uh, that's it. Uh, we we had to close it down. Uh, Kirk did Norwegian MSC now Carnival next will be Royal. I got to do the big four. Right on, buddy. You've done a few, and you got to do some more. Nice uh, nice job, Kirk. Thank you all for uh, popping by and say hi to me. Uh, appreciate it. Have yourselves a great week, everybody. Stay healthy. Wear your mask. Get your shots. Get your booster shot. And um, Enjoy your cruises and keep us posted on how they're going. We'll keep you posted on how we're doing. Once we start booking hours, probably in March, we'll let you know. We'll get together soon. I look forward to it. Thank you, everybody. Have a pleasant evening. We'll see you next week. Bye for now from Palm Desert.